Hey, what's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews. Still talking about iPad OS 18 with my M4 iPad Pro. So, um, we have been waiting for this feature for a while now, and this, my friends, is the new calculator app. So let's talk. Okay, so we have a, of course, calculator. Standard numbers, standard calculations, just like that, right? So what is so new about this? Well, if you come down here and you tap on this little calculator icon or right here, it actually pulls up some different functions. You have scientific, you have math notes, and you have conversions. So let's first talk about a scientific calculator because we all could have used this back in school. Um, a scientific calculator directly on your tablet, it would have made life a whole lot easier. All these that you would probably never touch, those <laughs> buttons are right there. But for the most part, if you're doing big math, uh, calculus and trigonometry and things like that, you may be able to take advantage of the scientific calculator. Chemistry, physics, stuff like that, scientific calculator. Now, let's talk about conversions because if you turn this on and we'll put it back in basic mode and let's say you want to convert some money. So right here we got $65 in US and that converts to $60.61 euros let's hit this and uh, let's find something else let's see okay the bot so 65 us dollars transfers into 2387 bot <laughs> which i'm probably never going to thailand but if i ever do i will have this conversion also Let's uh, find something else. Um, um, South Korea. Maybe we'll go to South Korea one day. There you go. And you got all these conversions right here at the touch of your hand. Depending on where you are traveling to, you'll be able to basically convert your money into their money. Um, let's see what else we got. Um, pesos philippine pesos so it's a lot of different things in there you can take advantage of it and it will allow you to use that conversion chart to the best of your ability and maximize anything that you need now one of my favorite things to talk about now before we get into this i've been using this and it feels like the actual notes application because it allows you to change out your tool and all these good things erase and just it feels just like the notes application just like that okay you get the gist now once you pick your actual tool that you want to use we're gonna say we're gonna come up with this uh, equation so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start out very simple so 4 plus 4 equals Eight gives us the answer. Uh, two times 10 equals 20. Great. Let's get a little bit more advanced. Three plus two times 12 equals. So it's doing all types of equations. Uh, let's get a little bit more complex. Four times four plus 12 times two over three equals oh snap so it actually put the whole equation together and gave us the answer for it um so i want to try see if it works fractions that's crazy so it does work with fractions and let's see Okay, so I mean, like literally it's working with just about everything that I'm putting in, throwing at it. I do want to see if it works with. <laughs> I 
I even drew a pie symbol and it it did it. So this is a, a really good tool. Now, the only thing I'm worried about is, is this going to make our children smarter or more lazy? Because now they can actually just come in here and they can write their equations out from school and they don't have to solve them anymore. They have an advanced algorithm solving their things for them. So this may be a good thing as well as a bad thing just because it may make our children a little bit more lazy and a little bit more stupid. <laughs> Hopefully it won't. Inside of here, you can take full advantage of just like I said, just like the notes application, you can record audio, you can choose and add videos, you can take photos, you can scan documents. All these things are in here and it does have its own history tab. So if you can click over, you can see the different notes and the different calculations that you put together. And once you're done in here, figuring things up, you go back to your basic calculator and that is what you get. So hopefully this has been able to help somebody out. This is just a quick overview of calculator. I'm sure that some of these things in here are going to change with time because we are still in beta and some of this stuff will be changing. So just keep that in mind. But um, I like this. Like I've already been to, and I always tell my kids, I've already been to school. I've earned the right to use a calculator. <laughs> but for the most part, this is gonna give them an extra feature and like I said, maybe it'll make them a little smarter. Maybe it might make them a little more lazy, but hopefully it's the <laughs> former versus the latter. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Stay tuned for more videos. We'll be breaking down all these little functions and features per video. Until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.